Hi everyone. So in today's video, what we are going to learn is like how we can do code coverage in our Node.js application. So for doing code coverage, I am going to use Istanbul. So let me quickly navigate to Chrome browser. So once the Chrome browser is open, what I am going to do is I am going to search for Istanbul NYC coverage. So code coverage is a very important part of our application. So if I go into the GitHub page, what I'm able to see is like how I can use it. So for doing that, I will simply run the installation command. So for doing that, what I will do, I will go in my command prompt and I will, uh, so I have got one demo application which I used for my previous demo or illustration purpose so what I will do is I will go over there and run the command npm install save dev nyc so it will start installing the Istanbul npm package in my application So while the package is being installed, let me show you a few more things. What I have got in my application. So what I have done is like I have got one user.js file which contains of a two dummy test case uh, functions. I also created a test file for that. So I will be using Mocha Chai and NYC for the code coverage purpose. So let's see if the installation was completed successfully. So the it has added 141 packages from 104, 103 contributors. So now for using the code coverage, let's first declare some variables which we will be requiring. That is like const chai is equal to require. Also, we will be using the assertion library. So, let's say chai.expect. So, this is the assertion library which we will be using. I am going to create a test case. So, let me say user test case cases. Over here, I am going to say create my first test case that is like it. Let me name my test cases. Should add a new user, and over there, I will simply control and output control dot log. added a new user okay so this is like a simple test case which I have created so if I go and run the npm test command let's see what happens npm test So it's showing that it has passed the test and created added a new user. Okay, so 
let's say suppose that I want to find the coverage in my method I have or in my user.js file I have got two methods but I am using only one method so I want to find the uh, number exact number like how much my code is covered or what is happening so for doing that what I will do is like I will simply call one of the methods so for calling the method what I need to do is I need to create a variable first pointing to that particular file so dot slash user is the file name so now I can use user dot add user right so now I have added a new user over here from user dot js file so right now what I will do is I will go in my package.json file and create a new configuration that is like coverage so let me quickly copy this so I will be requiring till this So this is like I am setting some variables, environment variables in my application. So right now over here I can say NYC reporter to be text and I, I will say NPM test so this will execute the npm test hold command so let me go back to my uh, command line and execute npm run coverage so as soon as I hit the enter button I should be able to see the coverage So sometimes it takes a while. So let's wait. So now it has run my files. So the percentage of lines covered is like 66.67 and the uncovered lines were 6. It's showing that it has got 100% branch coverage. So let's modify our test. So for doing that what I will do is like I will simply go in my user test.js file and right over here I will say user dot remove user call my user dot remove user so as soon as I again run this I should be getting 100% coverage for functions lines and there should be no uncovered lines in my application so as you can see what I was saying like I am getting 100% coverage for statements branch functions lines and uncovered lines so this is how like you will configure your Istanbul or like code coverage for your app node.js application if you like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button also do not uh, forget to share it and like it with your friends thanks for watching this video